Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trang. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you found this video. I am a budgeting mom of two and I'm currently on a journey to become debt free as well as trying to increase my savings for myself, my kids, and my lifestyle. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. Today's video is going to be just a cash stuffing portion. I usually do a budget with me and a cash stuffing, but we are skipping the budget with me this time. Before I start, I just want to say sorry that I missed a couple videos. I did film two more videos for the month of September, but it was a new setup and the video ended up being super shaky and there was just no way that I could edit it and upload it for you guys. It was way too shaky. I don't have videos for that. So I also skipped both of my fiance's paycheck and left the money inside my bank account. So I didn't do a cash stuffing for that. So September, I only released one video. I wanted to release more, but I couldn't do it. So really sorry about that. But for October, hopefully I can keep a more consistent upload schedule. I'm hoping October will be better. So today's video, we are doing a cash stuffing for my first paycheck of October. So let's do a count for this really quickly. Okay, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. We have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Why is there a staple here? What the heck? That is not cute. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. 220, 240, 260, 280, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. For a total of $1,592. If you guys are new here, I do pay myself monthly and I cash stuff bi-weekly. I originally wanted to stuff a total of $2,250 today, but I just didn't feel like there was a need for all of that. This is more than usual and it's more than enough. Yeah, we were going to cash stuff a total of 1592 and I have a remaining balance of $658 that I will be transferring into my account to put in away for investments and also to pay my student loans. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with my bills and subscription binder. I did get a lot of comments about why I keep my binders like slanted to the side i think i figured out the reason and i think it's because when i do my budget with me i'm trying to squeeze in everything um, into frame to to write everything out and then when i get to my cash stuffing portion i just leave it as is and it's kind of like by default but i will make it straight for you guys so you guys can see clearly and better Everything in my bills and subscription binder is under my account and that's why I cash stuff for it. And then my fiance has other bills under his account and he doesn't cash stuff and that's completely fine because as long as it's paid, I really don't care what method he uses. So first up, I do have rent, which is 613. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 10, 11, 12, 13. So $613 and this is for my portion of rent. The monthly payment for myself is $1,225. Um, this is just my portion and then I do cash stuff for my fiance's portion. My rent is not $613 monthly, you guys. I wish, I wish it was. Okay, moving on, we are going to stuff for water and sewage. This is $50. Alright, water and sewage is now done. Next up for trash. I think this needs a condensing really soon. Trash is getting $17. Cause this is getting overly stuffed. Okay, trash now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 
55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So we're almost ready for the trash payment. This trash is now all done. This is getting so big. I need to do a condensing ASAP. Okay, moving on, we have Spectrum. This will be getting a total of $43. So we have 20, 40, 41, 42, 43. Okay, Spectrum is now all done. Next up for Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime has been paid for, and now we are putting in $8. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8. And now Amazon Prime has a total of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Amazon Prime is now all done. Moving on to Canva. Canva is getting $7. I do have the Pro. I do like the Canva Pro. So, anyways. Uh, Canva is now all done. Next up for P.O. Box. P.O. Box is getting $19. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So this needs to be condensed as well. I didn't do a condensing video for September just because I didn't stuff my fiance's paycheck. And I did stuff my last paycheck for September, but I didn't film it. Uh, I think I did a reel on it. On Instagram I didn't upload on YouTube because it was way too shaky so peel box now has 20 30 40 50 60 65 70 75 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 and 90 91 92 93 94 94 dollars this definitely needs a condensing all right moving on we have discord this will be getting 45 dollars And that's it for my bills and subscription binder. If you guys are interested in the binder, I have everything linked in my bio. Go ahead and click on that. Um, these Moltrum binders are, I believe, out of stock. So you can also check out AliExpress. So moving on, we are going into my high priority binder. This is the Louis Vuitton Agenda in the size MM, which is also considered personal or in the budgeting world, it's an A6 budget binder. So it fits my envelopes perfectly. First up for birthdays, usually it gets $10, but because I made a lot more than anticipated for the month of September, we are putting in a lot more for all of my envelopes. So birthdays will be getting $40. So now it has a total of 20, 40, 50. Alright, birthdays is now all done. Okay, next up for Bubs, he will also be getting $40. So now he has 20, 40, 50, 50 20, 40, 60, 70. Alright, Bubs is now all done. Moving on to Christmas. Christmas already has a thousand in the bank. It is now getting $40. So it has 1,020, 40, 60, 80. All right, Christmas is now all done. Moving on to emergency. Emergency fund will be getting $100. Kind of want to switch this out because there you go. So emergency fund now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 540. 560, 575, 80, 85. So 585 for emergency. And we are over the 50% mark, so I'm super excited about that. And I can't wait for this to reach my $1,000 goal. All right, emergency fund is now done. Moving on to kids' birthdays. Kids' birthdays will be getting $50. It currently has 1,000 in my savings account. So now it has 1,050, 70, 90, 100, 110. 1,110 dollars. 
All right, kids' birthday is now all done. Moving on to kids' savings. This will be getting $50 as well. Usually it gets 25, but we are doubling it because I made more than enough. Kids savings now all done. Investments I'm skipping because I'm going to be transferring that straight from my account. Next up for savings, savings will be getting $50. Oh snap. All right, savings is now all done. We are also skipping student loans because that's being taken out straight from my bank account. Moving on, we have vacation. Vacation already has 500 in the bank and it will be getting $40 a day. So 20, 40, so that's 500, 520, 540, 560, 580, 600, 620, 640, 660, 680. So a total of 680 and I think we will be using the funds in here to book um, a nicer car to take back to the Bay Area for the end of this month to go celebrate um, an engagement party. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like three, four $400. So I have it covered, which is perfect. And this is why I love cash stuffing so much because I have it ready to go and I don't have to dip into like other funds in order to pay for certain things. Okay, so moving on, this is like my lower priority binder. Okay, for kids spending, kids spending will be getting $40. So I recently spent all the money in here to purchase clothes for my kids. Now we're trying to stuff it back up because my son is just outgrowing everything. He's currently one and he's turning two in December, but he wears like 40, which is insane. Okay, so kid spending now has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 195. Alright, moving on to family fun. Family fun will be getting $40. And we are saving this for Disneyland. If you guys didn't watch my previous videos, we are getting the tickets for free. I'm only stuffing up for like food, souvenirs, and toys or whatever my kids want. Or maybe like parking too. So, so stuff like that. So Family Fun has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400, 405. I think 400 is more than enough. Like, my kids are three and one. There's no way they want that much food and that many toys. Um, and we are going in October, like, I think towards the end of October. Super excited for that. Okay, moving on to date night. Date night is... Oopsies. Date night will be getting $30. Day night now has 100, 120, 140, 160, 170. Date night is now all done. Moving on to eye care, I recently took everything out because I purchased my contacts and I'm like super proud of myself because I had $75 in here and I purchased my contacts on the Walgreens app and I got 20% discount. I also had like $50 worth of Walgreens cash, a cash rewards thing. The total ended up being $73. I had just enough to cover this. So now we are stuffing up. We're putting in $20 um, because I think I have an eye exam coming up in a couple months. All right, so eye care is all done. Moving on to beauty. Beauty will be getting $20. And I don't think I need anything, maybe like an eye cream, but I got most of my beauty products recently for my brother. That was um, a birthday gift. So I don't need anything anytime soon. Maybe in December, 
but then that that could be a Christmas gift. So maybe yeah, not anytime soon. So beauty has 100, 200, 220, 225. So I'm just gonna stuff this up until I want something, I guess, because right now I don't really need anything. All right, beauty is not all done. Household, I took the funds out to purchase some household supplies like toilet paper and laundry detergent and stuff like that. So we are putting back in $30. So now household has a total of 20, 40, 50. Okay, so this binder is now all done. I really need to get on these saving challenges ASAP. Okay, last but not least, I do have my wallet. Try to see if I have everything covered. Yes, I do. Okay. Alright, so for groceries, this will be getting $100. I recently got a question about like what I do with rollover money, but if you guys can see, it's literally all empty minus like my spending envelope and that's because usually I have something that I'm saving up for so I will keep the money in here until I reach the certain amount and then I'll purchase whatever I am saving for. But other than that, this usually gets emptied out pretty quickly. Okay, so for spending, I am putting in... $40, so 20 40 so spending now has a total of 20 40 60 80 100 120 121 22 23 24 all right spending is now all done moving on for gas I don't yeah I'm not stuffing this because my fiance stuffs this so we're good um, next up for Starbucks, I haven't stuffed this in quite some time, but I'm putting in $10 because I've been using my points and now I don't have enough points for like free drinks. So we are stuffing her back up. Alright, Starbucks is now all done. Last but not least, I have eating out and I'm putting in $50. Alright, so my wallet is all done. Okay, so that basically wraps up my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.